YouTubers, Midge here, and today we're going to do this makeup look right here. Um, I'm so excited to like upload this video. It's a Wednesday for me right now that I'm recording this, and I'm so freaking excited when I upload this. Like, I don't know when I'm going to upload this because I have like five videos to upload. Um, so... And I'm so, like, I love this look. I was inspired uh, by Casey Rayton. I don't have my phone on me. I think her name's Casey Rayton. I do say later in the video. Um, she did, like, this warm eye with, like, a copper sparkles and stuff like that. And, yeah, so I do tell you about that uh, later uh, when I start working on the eyes. But, yeah. But if you recreate this look, you know, tag me in a picture. My Instagram will be down below in the description and my Snapchat will be down below in the description. And if you want to learn how to get this like mermaid, like sparkly mermaid queen, um, like goddess look, then just keep on watching. Alright, let's get on with this video. Like... Let's do it. Uh, I just want to say right now, I was inspired by someone. Let me pull up her Instagram. She's literally amazing. Um, I got her... The, w the way I found her was from Babs Beauty. If you don't follow her, you should follow her because she's amazing too. Um, well, she like... She was like saying like this is my first cut crease. It is because of this girl right here. And I was like, who is this girl? Because I need some... Um, practice on cut creases also, and I guess, uh, she said that she was, like, the, like, the master of cut creases or whatever, and her name is Casey Rayton. I think that's how you pronounce her, her last name. Um, I think that's her last name. I don't know. Maybe her middle name. I don't know. Um, but she is perfect. She's amazing. Um, like, she's really good at cut creases, like, and stuff like that and like oh girl like oh like she's really good um she, it's the same thing on her youtube and her snapchat and her instagram so go check out those social medias if you have one of them go check it out because like she's amazing she did this one cut crease and i'm like absolutely dying over and i'm gonna kind of do this i don't know if it's focused but there's it's 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 beautiful. So I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do the same exact colors. Um, I have jumbo glitter, and it's called Snow Glyph. Snow Drift. Snow Glyph. What the heck? Uh, it looks like this. It's just like big chunks of glitter. You guys will see it later. Um, but I'm going to be using this. This is uh, like not safe for your eyes. This is a uh, Treehouse Studio. I think that's the brand. Um, this is not safe for your eyes, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, just be careful. If you're using any kind of glitter, be careful so you don't scratch your eye and then it doesn't get infected and doesn't, you don't die. No, I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen. But it could get infected if you scratch it really good and yeah. So just be careful with any kind of glitter because yeah, especially if you're using glitter that's not safe for your eyes. I use glitter that's not safe for my eyes because I can't find a good glitter um, makeup line. I just I just can't find a good ma glitter makeup line. So if you have any suggestions, comment down below and let me know because I want to know. I need to know. I need safe glitter. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you guys and let's just get on with this voiceover. Alright guys, so I'm going to put on tape so I get a precise line with my shadow and my eyeliner because lately I've been like messing up on my eyeliner. So then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Day to Night palette. I'm going to take that blue and really, really build it up. And then I'm going to take the same dark palette and take this purple and keep it on the outer part of the eye. And then I'm going to cut my crease with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. 
And then I'm going to take the purple and blend it so it's like a ombre effect. And then I'm going to get my M, uh, M Cosmetics eyeliner in black. It's called something else, but I totally forgot what it was, so yeah. Um, then I'm going to set my uh, concealer with a white shadow. I just grabbed what, like a random white shadow. And then I'm going to take my Duo Lash Glue and put it on my lid so I could stick the glitter on my lid. And I'm just going to take one at a time and place it wherever I want and I think I placed like five or four on each lid and I'm taking little pieces of glitter and I'm going to put it all over the place and then I'm going to take the same blue and run it down there and also connect it to my wing liner and then I'm going to take my Manny MUA palette and take Mars and I'm going to take a little bit at a time, run it down there also, just a little bit. I don't want it to be like a full blown red under eye. And then I'm going to take my glue, put it some down there. And then take my big chunks of glitter and place it down there. I think I placed like about six. And then I applied the little glitter also. And then for my lip option, you could totally pick whatever lip option you want. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick and give me mocha. And then I'm going to take this uh, color called Artemis from the Manny Anyway palette, put it in my inner corner, and brow bone. Alright guys, so this is the end of this makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. I really, really, really like how this turned out. Um, in the beginning, when I was doing the purple and the blue, and, like in the crease and the outer part of the eye, I was kind of like, uh, I don't like it. I might just like take this off and do warm colors or something because I'm not liking this because what I was planning on doing was matching like the colors of like these little chunks and it's purple and a teal and a blue and a like a holographic color in there and a silver so there's like five colors in there so I wanted to like do a purple blue makeup look and I was doing that and I just didn't like the blue and the purple but I just kept going because sometimes when I do makeup uh like the just like the shadow um I just don't like how it turns out but when I'm done with everything uh it looks really good and I'm glad that I didn't remove it because it wouldn't look the same um, I do plan on playing with more of these glitters um, because, like, they're awesome. And there is, like, a pink and purple one. Um, uh, and I'm planning to get that one soon, so get ready for that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, though. Um, but just comment down below what you want to see, uh, like, with this. And, yeah, so, um, yeah, I think that's it. If you want more tutorials, more dramatic tutorials like these, uh, go on my channel and you'll see more because I've been in this like dramatic vibe, um, which I'm kind of excited for because like I have a lot of uh, looks in mind right now. So like you can see more of me, you know, and also hit that bell button so you get notified every single time I upload a video. You'll be the first one to like and comment and all that jazz and subscribe, not subscribe. Follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram so to get so you can like like know what's up or whatever because I'm really active on those two social medias and yeah so show fun friends to strangers and I'll see you guys next time bye.
erase all of these broken dreams and